All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, build a technical documentation page, user stories, number 15. All right. So our technical documentation should use at least one media query. All right. So that's what we're going to do on this one. Uh, if you don't remember how to do it, we've got it open right here for step 27. Uh, let's get rid of the instructions for now and then just bring out the CSS because that's what we're going to need. Uh, and we don't even need the uh, HTML right now either. So for the media query, if we don't, if you don't remember, the media query, the media query at rule, also known as a media query, is used to conditionally apply CSS. Media queries are commonly used to apply CSS based on the viewport width using the max width and min width properties. Uh, in the below example, the padding is applied to the card class, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so here's how we use it. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to get the media and we're going to do a max height. Let me show you what we're specifically going to do, right? So as you see here, watch this console. You see how this happens? What we're going to do is we're going to shrink this text whenever this box gets too small, all right? So we're going to come over here and we're going to say, uh, let's get rid of the console again. We're going to say that we're going to do the media query thing. So at media. And then what we're going to do is max height. And this is, let's look at the console. This is, I think this is about 600. Uh, because look at this. This is definitely 200 right here. And so it would be like one two and then a little bit past it would be 600 so let's just say 600 right there uh, max height 600 px all right and so we don't need this and so now we're going to do this right here according to this all right so now we're going to target something right so we're going to target all this text right here uh which is this section class main section so we're going to target it by saying dot main section all right and we're going to say uh no we don't do it like that we do this and then we're going to say uh is that what we do yes okay and then we're going to say uh font size font size and we want it to be uh just smaller so we'll say font size when the viewport is smaller than this we'll say font size is uh, 0.7 so 70 percent of uh, M all right so the 70 percent of the regular text size and look it gets uh, small enough like that let's do let's get the console out and so it makes it bigger makes it smaller makes it make bigger makes it smaller and so we did that so let's open up the instructions again come on down here uh, open up the console again Let's uh, run the tests. All right, it looks like uh, looks like we're good. It looks like we're good. Submit and go to the next challenge. All right, so here's what we're gonna build: a little cityscape. Looks fun. Uh, looks pretty fun. Looks better than that Picasso. I tell you that much. Uh, so now we're on learn CSS variables by building a city skyline. Step one, and we'll see you next time.